guys, what's up? This is Loosen Up Luxury, and today we're back with some more Outer Worlds. Last time, we met our newest companion, Nyoka, and we made our way towards Devil Peak. But, I'm sorry, we made our way towards Devil's Peak, but we realized it was overrun by Marauders. Now, we can go ahead and take care of this by ourselves, or we can go ahead and get a group on to help us fight the Marauders, and I think we will do that. So, the lady said that they should be down this slope here. Or it might be on the other way. Nope, it's down this slope. I also have a weapon recruited from them. See, they have a dead marauder here already. Hello, who do I talk to? Approaching! I shark C3! On the alert, ladies and gents, we got us a live one. How'd you get up here? Through the caves? No, I didn't come up to the Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut-shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All mm. right. First things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm going to need to know what your role in your organization is. You can consider me C CEO of a company of one. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume. Joy well, sent me to talk well to you. That's good, but the reason you've come is secondary to the arbitration at hand. You asking so many questions. Some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. Yo. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI <laughs> operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo. Rude I don't care. Any dawn. A smidge, yeah. Don't we, as a standing policy, provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Adding Bro, come on now. Confirm, but I'm betting if you're willing come on, Lyle, to all get along for free. We're on the same side. I literally pass. came down here so we can help. Yes, we might could. There's something I like about you. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. Exactly, because right. you know yes. I can kill all of you in Unless an instant. If you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say he's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Just, I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. I just told you Anything someone sent me here to talk to you, and they're at Devil's Peak Station. I literally just told you that. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I met Joy by the station, as I already fucking told you. I was hoping you could get, was hoping to get you guys to do your job and take down the marauders. Say we didn't do our job. I'll have you. You know didn't. Our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. I didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll oh, sheer so you're cowards. Them. Once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. That's Who's right. Berthold? Berthold Fox is our boss man, founder, president, and CEO. Birdie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. He's a hands-on mm, type. He's dead. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although... He's dead as hell. He should have been back. Going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. I'm gonna kill him when he returns Space from the cave, no. too? The contract doesn't target C3s. How do we enforce it otherwise? I might cold-blooded, ain't he, Donald? Mm. Mm. Making an honorary through C3, and I'll look Done. for him. Use this. Signal's locked to Birdie's tracker. Should lead you right to him. Or his body. Right. Whatever you find. Bring him back. I'll be going. Alright, so obviously if he would have took, um, or went to the caves in the first place, um, probably would have came across him already. We didn't. Um, so it's all alright though. So we go to our journal. Wrap this on there. So the cave. 
gonna be up here. Who wants to play an impromptu toss ball match? No one? Really? Come on, come on, Max. Come on, Max, really? Alright. So, go ahead through Devil's Feet King. So, yeah. This is the cave Nyoka was talking about when we first got there. Um, very easier to go through than um, the path we chose to go up. But, I wanted to go up the hard path because I like. I don't know, I just felt like it. Um, I. Um, highly recommend going through the cave, though. If you are following along. Yeah, look how pretty it is, though, man. It's a very, very pretty place. And, uh, fun fact, I literally completely skipped this part. Like, almost completely. I don't even think I talked to the girl when I first got to Devil's Speed. I completely ignored her. Oh, I guess I'm hurt. They are hostile. Yep. That's a new type of enemy we haven't seen yet. Oh, we got some mines here. I mean... Maybe maybe we can pick a better weapon for this. Here we go. There we go. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down. Okay. I got a prismatic hammer, baby it's strong. I totally strong back up. I think we're fine. They're in, they stopped chasing us down there. Alright. So that was a little bit of a scare. But as I was saying, yeah, I completely skipped this part getting Mr. Ouch there. My first playthrough. Didn't know about it. Uh, empty gray face mask. That's probably some light armor. Looking at the looks of it. It is plus 5 determination, but it's 11 armor. It's pretty good for light armor. It's not like there's anything here, so it looks like we actually are going to have to make our way down there, it seems. And what the... If I can start running into the wall, thinking it's an exit, that'd be nice. I could jump on down there, but we'd most likely die or take a, a lot of damage, so we're gonna go ahead and go the other way. So yeah, the, um, the, the path... The path to the cave isn't exactly as easy. It is easier, but it's only like slightly easier because you don't have to fight the special type of um those special types of mantisaurs. And um also you want to have that chance. I don't think that you have that chance of the mantic when spawning, but to get through it. Also. You hear that? You hear that? Yeah, look at that. It's a mega mantic queen here. So not exactly easier, but it is a lot prettier. Sure, sure, sure. How about you start shooting? That's a start. Ooh, good miss, good miss. Stun him. Boom. I'm gonna go up to it. Just weak it right now. Pop. Pop. You okay? Do your thing. Light it up, light it up. Okay, look how much look how much we get to it and look how much ah. we got the half. Yo can no. I think it's focusing Yoka right now. Oh max, max, max. Boom. Triple it. Knock down. Find it. Guys, this is the all we have. Whoa. No, we were so close. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. Oh, come on, you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, boy. They're never a match for us. 
Bitch ass. My bad. My bad. My bad. Chill. 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 Bitch ass. Your key card dead. All right. We didn't have to do all that. We didn't have to do all that. Why was I last auto save two levels ago? All right. Luckily, it did save us right before we fucking hit him across the head. You fucking bastard! Why didn't you? You had a whole plasma carbine. You could have been helping us. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since oh, it was to my benefit, my God. and we're largely in lawless lands, maybe I should kill you. Way. C3 owes you one, stranger. Awfully sensible for a businessman, aren't you? It's what I'm known for. Or what I'm usually known for, the occasional mishap notwithstanding. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's a torso. And better be your legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Bertold. Damn. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh la, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Yeah. It is. It's gonna be a mess to haul back. Hazard of the job, I reckon. Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe Not you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I that mean to pay. Fucking flying. There's a station up the way. Here. It's where my C3s are posted. We I can know. talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Lord, rip Constance's. But yeah, I'm taking all this shit. Um. So yeah, you could have done this coming up here if you want to went to the mountain if you want to. However, I do think there is something you can get out of all of this, I do promise you. It's a long gun. It's actually a pretty decent weapon. So let's get out of this cave, why don't we? Yeah, because you have to come through here and he will call you to fight the Manta Queen. Uh, like I said, this is technically not that much harder. I mean, it's not that much easier considering there's a Manta Queen over there. You got Manta Pill. Sorry. Hello. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in yes, one sir, piece. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. All right. Kind of odd for a group of mercs to label themselves as a corporation entirely. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead right, the C3s. Fair. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures. Lance handles the human capital. And Donald is our charming public face. <laughs> our system works. All right. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. More confirmed skills than me? I doubt it. Why are you guys hiding? Oh, sorry. Why are you guys guarding? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. All right, dick. Bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gigs to stop mm -hmm. by means of lethal force any creatures exiting the caverns. Including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. Hmm. I'll call it even if you help me wipe out the marauders at the broadcast station. You drive a hard bargain, Manna Queen Slayer. It don't make That's much cool. financial name, sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are mm, murky. At the awesome same cowards. time, we do want to keep our client alive. Until the payment's cleared. Exactly, you dumbass. And so let's do this. You're, you're the laziest Merc crew in Halcyon. Clever. I mean lazy. We recommended the client safeguard himself, so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostiles on the inside. 
I'd best but... radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Let's go. All right. 20 minutes in, Jesus Christ. 20 minutes passed by like nothing. But anyway, if you come in here, you can pick up the Thunder Gun. That is an electric assault rifle that you can just get for free. There's also a lot more stuff here. You also get the key card. And you can unlock a lot of things with this. So you can get a Stun Punch on Ultra. A Vermin Pistol. Sorry. Get some energy cells. Get a Sentry Saber Mark II. Some riot Control Armor. Some bits. A necklace. And that's about it. Mm, do you think it's worth it? Eh. Might be, might not. There you are. Boss man said yes. you'd be up this way. With regroup. Hiram's home. <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never said. All right, Fox okay. radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support yes. you need. If those bastards yes. start shooting, we'll join in. Let's I gotta go. warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. No need to wait on me. After You're you. Okay, stranger. Hear that, Hudson? It's payday. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Where are the C3s at? Oh, I guess they're on their way up here. Anyway. Fuck taking this all quietly. You start blasting. Ooh! You can't tell me that wasn't a nasty headshot at the beginning, though. Come on now. I need some slack. Hold on. Ooh! Leg shot was nice. Come on, come on. Oh, Jesus, that man exploded. Oh. Sit down. Sit down, boy. Sit down, boy. Oh. Hold on. Pop. 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 Reload, reload. Damn, he said it was you were a waste of company ammo. That barrel. Hold on. Find you real quick. Sit down. Oh. There you go. Got you that time. Got you that time. Oh. Right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy now. Plasma weakness. Getting burned too many times has made you... Okay, obviously we're going to reject that. We're not going to take any flaws, probably. I think I mentioned this earlier in hardcore mode. You will take more... Um, you will automatically take all your flaws, so... Yeah, hardcore mode is on the door. He's... He spooks easy. He did indeed. But he did not seal this one. So we going in. The prismatic hammer. Open sesame. Lemon shine, diet toothpaste. Spacious choice, diet toothpaste. Huh. What's the point of diet toothpaste? I actually don't, I don't quite understand that. Is that even a real thing in real life? I don't know. Right. You may not realize right. this, being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown, which means you can't ever get to me. So leave all. <laughs> can't. We'll see about that. Oh, uh, oh! You got that right, Max. We are unstoppable in this motherfucker. That's how all this junk we got on us. We get a little bit. Nothing really here that we probably want. No, this is all light armor too in the first place. Granted, this is some pretty cool looking ride control armor. It's all light armor though, so if we wanted to. Ooh, do get melee weapon skills plus five. I think that gives us plus five to both. Um, one-handed and two-handed melee, but obviously with the cost of us not having 
you know, very high armor. We're also not really expecting to dodge it all, so it is what it is, though. Here's the elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep right, moving look. forward. Look for another way up. Yes, ma'am. Let's do it. Pick open this. I can't pick lock through this. And there definitely seems to be quite a few weapons in here. Open up, open up. What do we got? That is a silencer mod. We're definitely going to want to use that. What's this? Some of the trooper armor. That's another. Yep. Ultra stun baton. Ultra stun baton ultra. And we got the Devil's Peak environment control key card. The new environment control terminal is now installed and running upstairs. Congratulations, you messaged corporate about it. You get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide it. Uh, uh, to hide it. To hide its access. Key card deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere, preferably within the archives or in one of the stations other popular sections because I sure as hell would not allow our station's efficiency scores to plummet due to a pointless safety feature. Don't even think about testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance interview. That is an F for six cartridges though. That. Oh my god! My man was in here taking a whole shit. My man was in there taking a whole shit. That's actually hilarious. Isn't it kind of weird how they have just open toilets like that? It's not even a urinal. It's just open ass toilets. And this man was sitting bare ass probably. Or he was shitting through his pants. Either way, disgusting. Let's keep on going. All right, so we got that key card. Okay. How about no, though? What happens if you don't? What happens if I find my own way out? I'm not, no, okay, we're gonna talk. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy? A little bit of both. Sniffing around my station, unless you are in fact trying to suicide by marauder. And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, he hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I see why Neil can tolerate you. Fine, I'll do the talking. By the hand of faith and my own cutting skill, I run this station. The Marauders Barely. may have other plans. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I have need of you. As my newest contractor, you may call me the broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that, aside from you. Okay, speaking of, I'm working with Berthold. CP, um, C3 is ready to fight. Oh, now they'll take action. It's about time, I tell you. I'm up to my neck in marauders in here, which, by the by, they were supposed to prevent. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy hey. the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator okay. and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. We already know what's in it for us. I'll see what I can do. Let's do it. I got that key card. I'm not sure what it's for, though. I mean, we read what it's about, but I don't know where exactly to use it at. Hey, All right, so... Alright. So you lied to me. It's not to my right. No, it is to my right. It's actually right over here. Wait, actually, where is it? Is it over here? It's right here, right? Open up. Freaker Max, Yoka, prepare to battle. Light him on fire, ladies and gentlemen. So this is where the C3 is going. I need to be a little bit careful using the prismatic camera because you can accidentally hit them, so. Come. 
Also, the reason our pistol wasn't working earlier because it was really degraded. Which is um, something I forget about. We have to make sure we fix our weapons every once in a while so it stays up in quality. Alright, let's make our way up though. That's awesome. My man wasn't ready. My man wasn't ready. Oh, hold on. Bop. Ooh, blew it. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Blew his whole helmet off. Yeah, that man wasn't ready for that. Easy peasy. Yep, breaking along the C3 just makes things a lot easier to go through. And if you would have done it by yourselves. Anyway. Yes. Please. Sorry, sorry. Please do, please do. All right. Here we are. Go ahead and pick up all this stuff. You don't mind. You don't need it. It's not really what it's stealing, you know. You know how it is. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just doing my job. Um, how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Doing good, doing good. All right, it's good, it's good, it's good. Oh, we got a key card. Is this what used for? No, we can open that safe. We're not a higher enough level yet for pig locking. Accessing. Alright. Begin broadcast. Clear blue sky. Sneaky. Sneaky. Should have known. Blue fear. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk to him finally. I don't know what that key card's about. We're going to have to explore back downstairs to figure out what that key card was about. If about anything. Um, all right, Hiram. I thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. And you got celebration me my money's worth out of the Celebration time, I come on. with you in the first place. I think nothing of it. Oh no, my business is in trade, not owing others the burden of a favor. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, mm. I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Not an easy man to reach. Roker. That is the primary goal behind locking myself high in a tower. Some folks don't look kindly on me being a purveyor of delicate information. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough mm -hmm. to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. You said that in a way that was almost believable. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Mm, why is that? I'm waiting, but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against mm. each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. So we kick exactly them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Mm. Can't we cut them off from the inside of the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. All right, I'll talk some sits into them, or I could just kill them all. Just don't tell me about it after. I enjoy sleeping at night. Be all right. And shoot any marauders you spot on the way down. No problem. All right, so we get a lot of XP from that. Oh, sorry, sorry to me. All right, so. Looks like we have a little bit of a faction war going on, or at least over the broadcast station that we're going to have to take care of. And I think we will do that next episode, for sure. Now, I'm not going to lie, the last two episodes have been pretty short, or at least I'm going to make them pretty short, I should 
say. But this next couple episodes are going to be really, really long because the way you have to record this game is just kind of like that. But before that, I'm going to go see if this key card is any use to us at all. And yeah. There's also a lot of marauder parts and people we didn't kill. Otherwise, we'd have gotten a level up by now. Ours. Yep, it is. And it's a marauder helmet. Would you look at that? This key card? Hold on. I actually didn't use this fucking thunder gun at all either. And I definitely could have used this. It's a very useful weapon for sure. It might be a use for outside. Yeah, that might actually be used for outside. I'm gonna go down first and we're gonna come back up on the elevator. Actually, just go outside first. It might be used for it out here. Nope, I don't see where this could be actually used for. Oh well. Alright guys, so admittedly I didn't really look for anything too much there to see if this key card's used for. Um, I will, well, find whatever it can be used for, but I think this is where we're going to end the episode off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe if you did. Next time we will be going see, to see Graham. And we're going to be seeing Sanjar in both of their respected towns. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Stay safe out there. And have a nice day.